in this video i am going to discuss an important topic which is about uh, a farm that uh, inside a farm how we implement placeholder required attribute read only disabled and checked right so these are the most important element uh, in which are always used inside the form so before proceeding this uh, whole topic i would like to give you a task of uh, actually in the previous video i was uh, talking about that i will give you a homework of a table to create a table so i couldn't able to give you uh, that so now i have prepared a table that you have to uh, create by your own <coughs> so this is the table right so if you are clear about uh, uh, row span and call span uh, you would definitely able to create this particular table easily so this was the table in my training actually they uh, our trainer has given us finally this table to create that if uh, you are confident to confident about the topic of table then you can easily create this so you can use only a row span uh, or only call span in this way you can also create or anyways mm, you have to create this particular table so if you couldn't able to create please uh write in the comment that uh, we could not able to create so i will i will send you the code right but you have to try your best to create this particular table right so these dot dots are uh, not uh, mm, uh, important you have to create this structure only right using row span and call span but uh, firstly you have to write down in your notebook create this table in your notebook and then after try to implement right so now come to the uh, today's topic so i have uh, taken a simple uh, one text box and one submit button so i want to implement all these five concepts inside of this text box so let me show you the code so this is the code of uh, the output that you are looking right now nothing is here actually this is head tag style tag inside of style tag i have written nothing head tag close in body tag i have uh, written a style attribute in which i have mentioned that uh, my screen uh, body in the sense uh, the whole screen should have the margin of 0% and 40% 0% means top bottom and 40% uh, means left right so background color is yellow that you are looking right now and now in uh, this is the form right this is the form so inside a form uh i have written uh, one input uh, element in which i have uh, i have sorry this has no need right now because i haven't needed right now because i am not going to uh, do any designing on this particular input right so input type is equal to name right and second is input value is equal to uh, submit and type is equal to submit so these are the two elements that i have uh, taken you can see again so this is the whole right so now firstly i would like to implement placeholder so what does placeholder mean so placeholder equal to <coughs> enter name you may have seen such type of things in a form then you are going to fill so this is nothing this is not a text this is actually giving us the hint that in this text box what you have to enter so once uh, i will try to um, write something for example this that would be removed right so that would be shown only if the text box would be blank right so this provides the hint to the user that what you have to fill right so this is called as placeholder i think you got that point next is required required means for the sake of validation maybe sometimes uh, you don't uh, uh, want to m ignore this particular text box from the user for example user uh, has to enter email id right so maybe user could not uh, uh, enter the email id and uh, submit the form but you want that user should definitely enter the email id so at that time uh, you have to put here required attribute required so once i have written the required attribute 
for example i have refreshed this and i am submitting the form without entering anything inside of it so if i will submit then it will give me error please fill out this field because this field is required required means very much important you have to fill otherwise you cannot able to submit the form right so you got the concept that uh, how required is going to work so on every element you can uh, use this required attribute right so this would be applicable to any uh, element of form next is read only read only means you can only read not edit so for example i am going to remove placeholder because this has no need right now and uh, required also so read only means read read only right so read only and here i should have to enter some value value equal to for example muhammad muhammad is the value so now this is the value but this value cannot be edited for example you want to write something i am going to writing uh, this but this could not able to be uh, edited so this is called as read only so once you will write some value actually this muhammad is uh, inside of uh, name attribute why because <coughs> because i have uh, used the value attribute in which i have written muhammad so because of that my text box is already filled with some value and right now i have make it uh, read only so if you would implement read only that means that uh, uh, nobody can edit it right if you will submit the form as it is the form would be submitted and this value would be sent through the form right so this was the concept of read only i think you got the concept if you would have any doubt you can uh, you can ask me the question right next is disabled disabled means disabled means you can not do anything here for example right now we have read only read only means whatever the value inside of uh, this text box that would be sent to the submit using a submit button you can send this into the database but <coughs> if you have disabled in instead of read only disabled so now you will if you will refresh now you can see that this is little bit um, blur, in the sense the color is going to be changed so this color shows that this is and you can also see the cursor is not coming here before that the cursor was coming but now the cursor is uh, removed from here so difference between read only and disabled is read only also not edited and disabled also not edited but means not changed but read only attribute value would be sent to the uh, sent through the form but disabled value would not be sent matlab means this has no meaning at all this would be this text box would be considered as an empty somebody if you will submit the form then from this text box you will get nothing but if you would have read only then that means whichever value would be inside of it that would be received on the other side where you are going to submit the form later on i will discuss that uh, uh, how the form is going to be submitted to the other form, other pages but right now you have to keep in mind that <clears throat> the purpose of our form filling is that once we are going to fill the form that data has to be sent to the other person so the other person receive on the other page so i am talking about that if your field would be disabled then at that time the value inside of that field would not be received means this has not actually sent from here because we have make it disabled <laughs> and if it would be read only then the value inside would be sent from this form and on the other side that can be received but from here you cannot edit right next is checked so for checked i have to make a radio button 
radio button or maybe you can uh, use checkbox input type checkbox mm, value equal to orange means fruit right now you can see so this is a checkbox actually i have to now you can see so this is fruit and this is checkbox i think you are getting this is checkbox right checkbox so by default you have to keep in mind that uh, by default everything would be unchecked for example i have refreshed this so this checkbox is unchecked by default but if you will write inside of it inside this tag you will write checked then that means by default this checkbox would be checked i have refreshed this and this has been checked if for example i have another input box and that is not checked so and uh, the name of this is vehicles and i have copied this same value so now if you will find out you will see that here are two checkbox right but one is checked and other is unchecked i have already refreshed this so why this is checked because i have mentioned the attribute checked right so if you have written checked inside of that element that means that checkbox would be checked by default right by default if you want to uncheck you can uncheck it but by default means when you will see the form at that time that box would be unchecked unchecked already right so this is vehicle this is by uh, by default unchecked and this is by default checked so i think you got the concept of placeholder required read only disabled and checked most important was the difference between read only and disabled that i already discussed with you if you couldn't able to get um, the concept uh, up till now then you have to rewind this video in the sense you have to uh, watch this video once again definitely you will find out the difference between these two and this video was really important because these concepts are important to understand if you couldn't able to understand that means you are uh, you are losing so many things from the form right and form is the major con major portion of html that you have to keep in mind so that's it for today next video i will uh, discuss some more important concepts that you have to keep in mind and even uh, in the coming videos i will uh, discuss those exception uh, cases which are uh, important to uh, know about right so thank you thanks for watching and if you haven't seen my previous videos uh, you can see on this on the same channel i have uh, discussed all the all those basic concepts and in the coming topics i would also cover some important concepts and later on i will uh, start the new course of css so thank you thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe this channel and like this video and even share with the others uh, on the whatsapp facebook uh, and on the same uh, youtube right so this would be benefited for the others thank you thanks for watching